Welcome to VMware Cloud Disaster Recovery Protected Sites Demonstration. Setting up VMware Cloud Disaster Recovery has four basic steps required. To enable a simple and reliable failover from your on-prem VMware data center environment to VMware Cloud on AWS. They are, construct a protected site, connecting your on-prem vCenter to the cloud, configure protection group policies to begin offsite data protection, manage your SDDC configuration, to support improved operational consistencies, and define DR plans, your runbooks, to guide the orchestrated failover actions. This demo video will cover the first step of this setup, constructing a protected site. From the orchestrator dashboard, let's create a new protected site. To do this, we navigate to the sites view and then select protected sites. Note that we already have one site created. In this example, we are going to set up a new protected site for another on-prem vCenter configuration. We start by giving our new site a meaningful name and set the time zone for that location that will relate to the protection policy scheduling we will construct later. This setup flow has the following steps. Download and install the DRAS connector. This is a typical OVA style of deployment. Configure the DRAS connector. And this establishes the connection to the cloud components. Register vCenter that manages the VMs of interest, and then test the configuration with a sample protection group. The download URL and initial default login credentials for the DRAS connector appliance are supplied by the VMware Cloud Disaster Recovery Support Team. To install the OVA, we will switch over to our on-prem vCenter environment and then follow typical OVA deployment steps to add the DRAS Connector VM to the vCenter environment for our new protected site. Note, it is important to place the DRAS Connector on a network with both external access to the cloud-based DRAS components, as well as the local access to the vCenter and ESXi hosts to enable protection of the local VMs. Once the OVA VM is deployed, simply power it on and wait for the connector appliance to initialize. It will get a DHCP network IP if available and a default name as seen in the vCenter UI. If DHCP is not available, it is possible to statically assign an IP configuration during the next step. In this setup, we will use the vCenter console access to log into the connector appliance and complete the initial configuration of networking and associating this connector to the other components of the VMware Cloud Disaster Recovery cloud-based environment. The DRAS connector setup involves setting the network, either DHCP or static, authenticating with the target orchestrator service, and then associating this DRAS connector with the desired protected site that we are constructing. Once the DRAS connector appliance is configured, we then return to the orchestrator UI. Next, we will register the vCenter containing the VMs we wish to protect. For this registration step, we will use the IP address of the vCenter and an authorized account with administrator system role. With the DRAS connector deployed and the vCenter registered, the last step to setting up the protected site is to test the configuration with a simple protection group example. We will cover protection groups in more detail in other sessions. For this testing, we create a protection group called test. Pick an example VM called worker VM. And use the default nightly schedule. We then navigate to the protection group details and take a manual snapshot. This will take the initial snapshot of the virtual machine and replicate that VM's data to the scale out file system. A short while later, we see the successful completion of the snapshot recovery point for the example VM is now available in inventory. With that completed, we are now done and have finished setting up a new protected site for our on-prem data center VMware environment.